British business leaders in Hong Kong flew to the UK recently to see if they could do something about the unfair negative narrative circulating about this city. <laughs> Anne Kerr and Paul McComb, who head the British Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong, headed to London in September for this purpose. They said at a meeting organised by the Our Hong Kong Foundation on Thursday. Now the discussions they had in the UK and later on on their return to Hong Kong revealed a very different attitude uh, between the West and the Chinese. But we'll get to that in a, in a minute. Now here's the issue. Hong Kong is presented in international media as an oppressed dystopian nightmare land which everyone is fleeing. The narrative is clearly false. Hong Kong is statistically one of the wealthiest and healthiest lowest crime communities on earth and the population is growing. But how do we get the truth out there? The issue was raised by uh, well-known businessman Robert Dorfman. The British Chamber of Commerce duo responded that they had recently gone back to the UK to discuss this with high-level contacts there. UK people said Hong Kongers should take a leaf out of the book of Saudi Arabia and Dubai who are always trumpeting their big infrastructure projects. Hong Kong could boast about the Northern Metropolis, a mega infrastructure project on the Shenzhen border. Anne and Paul responded that in China, people don't boast about this stuff. They just get things done and then move on to the next thing. The basic fact to us was, you know, why are you shouting about the Northern Metropolis or in the same way as people talk about Neon, the Line, some of the stuff going on in Dubai. And I think we felt we're not sure. Hong Kong is not sure of us. You know, they, they like to win and they like to succeed and they do succeed. But they don't like to brag. <laughs> It's not in the, the culture. More recently, Anker and Paul McComb found the same discussion going on here. The head of the International Chamber of Commerce, the largest business organisation in the world, visited Hong Kong last week. John Denton asked why people in Hong Kong didn't counter the negativity by shouting about their world-class achievements. And the locals responded that they didn't like getting into arguments. They just get on with things. And he's in a way to the audience going, why are you guys not getting out there and reasserting the global leadership that this place is known for you? And the local guys will say, oh, we just want to let us get on and win. <laughs> It's a really interesting discussion and it reminded me of a saying by Lao Tzu in chapter 81 of the Tao Te Ching. The way of the sage is to act, not to contend. In other words, wise people get stuff done. Well, most people just argue. Now, if you'll excuse me, time to stop talking and stop getting something done, like uploading this video. Peace.